Hey, it's Wolfie Chan, and I am back with another manga review. And this manga is, of course, I'm a wolf and my boss is a sheep, volume two. This is adorable. We keep following Ogami and Masha Hiro, but now we have another person, Mika. Mika is there to kind of help stimulate, like, better results or something. He basically is help marketing the pillow as well. And Mika is an old friend of Mashahiro. Two sheeps, who'd have thought? And of course, Ogami gets the wrong thing that they are going to be dating and all this stuff. So, with everything that's happening and doing all the stuff, sweet poor Ogami is going through the ringer with Mika when we find out that Mika's weakness is dogs. And he has been shivering secretly against Ogami. Ogami is willing to help him with anything, and it turns into a funny madhouse. So, Mashihiro, Mika, and Ogami go to a track field. Now, this is a track of predators that are running really fast, all this good stuff, and they all seem to only want to talk to Ogami. Well, Mika makes a bet with this, the leader of them to basically race and see who is faster. If Mika is faster, they will listen to them and do the sleep study and all that good stuff. If they don't, they go away and they won't have to do anything. Not a single thing. So Mika gets advice from Ogami because Ogami is really fast. Wolf, all that good stuff. And Ogami gives him advice how to actually run and beat them. In a race, Mika wins, and you find out that the leader of the track team basically got beat by a gazelle. And she, so she has a bit of an animosity towards it, but ends up kind of falling for Mika and all that stuff. And they do the sleep study and they found out that the pillow is actually really good and really nice and can help them run faster. Girls, if you wouldn't fight over this, it'd be great. We then get a moment after Mashahiro, Mika basically are like, we're only friends, we're not really dating, yada yada. Ogami gets sick. Ooh, Ogami gets sick. And what ends up happening is that poor Ogami gets taken care of by Mashahiro. Mashahiro does everything she can, soup, porridge, stuff like that, and to keep his fever down. Well, sweet, sweet Ogami ends up grabbing her, pinning her to the bed, and marking her. Which Mashahiro is like both into, but like, oh my goodness, like, what do I. She really wants to go with Ogami, and kind of wants to be with him, and all this good stuff. Which ends up with Ogami basically saying, sorry, he was sick, he didn't mean to, and that he wants to keep them as professional as possible. Oh, Ogami, sweetheart, darling, dear, mm, you shouldn't have. She wants you. She wants to be with you. She wants all of that. Why are you like this? So this breaks Mashahiro, and I think it leads her into going into Mika's arms for comfort. And that softly bugs for Ogami. And that is where volume two kind of ends. And I want them to figure it out. I want them to be fine. I want this to be figured out. I want it to be okay. Everything's good. Great. Everything. But Ogami. Just be like, did, I'm sorry for what I did. Did you like it? Was it bad? Like, and see what her response is. See if she likes it. See if it's good. Bro. Bro. Sweetie. Dear. You're, you're not holding up anything for your case. This poor girl is into you and you are showing nothing. Which I understand. You don't know how they feel, what they're into, all that good stuff, but Ogami, oh, my boy, my boy, be a wolf sometimes. Please. <sighs> so, if you like this video, definitely leave a like. Leave it in the comment section below. Have you read volume two? Is it up to your standards or are you iffy? Also, don't forget that big red button for more anime, manga, something new, something old, something different in the future and my socials down there. I hope you've been having a wonderful day. 
Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss.